Georgia O'Keeffe was born in 1887, and by the time she graduated high school, she was determined to move to New York and become an artist. She was first famous for painting New York skyscrapers. O'Keeffe moved to New Mexico, where she was inspired by the landscapes. She painted many flowers from a unique perspective, skulls she found in the desert, and views from New Mexico. Due to failing vision, she painted her last oil painting in 1972. Today, her beautiful home is open to visitors as well as a museum in Santa Fe. Coming up is a craft inspired by Georgia O'Keeffe. To make the glue mixture, squeeze liquid glue into a cup and add water. Use a paintbrush to stir it. The mixture needs to be a bit thicker than water. Georgia O'Keeffe painted many types of flowers. Some were up close paintings showing detail and others showed the entire flower. I twisted green tissue paper to make a stem and painted the glue mixture onto the paper. For this craft, it is important that the paper is thick because a lot of glue is applied. Remember that all flowers are unique and your tissue paper flower could be completely different from mine. Continue to fill the entire page with tissue paper. You can cut the tissue paper and lay it flat or crinkle it to add texture. I cut small squares out of tissue paper and then I used the end of my pencil to apply them to the page so I wouldn't get glue all over my hands. For the background, I cut blue tissue paper into squares and I applied a generous coat of glue to the page to cover all of the white paper. I even painted glue on top of the tissue paper to make sure that all of the pieces were adhered well. I added some clouds to the background as well. With scissors, I trimmed the edges to make sure the project looked neat and to get rid of excess paper. Thank you for watching and supporting my Girl Scout Gold Award project.